Repair and maintenance of the Canva Lock Adapter. You must first remove the retaining ring from the bottom half of the adapter. The retaining ring holds in every part of the Canva Lock Adapter. We recommend you use some type of block or shield because everything is spring loaded and when you remove the retaining ring, there's a chance that the spring could project out of the adapter. The retaining ring can be removed with a standard screwdriver. Once the retaining ring is removed, the bridge, the spring, and the poppet subassembly will easily fall out of the adapter. You will first replace the O-ring in the poppet assembly. Remove the O-ring with a standard O-ring pick. A standard OPW repair kit will include a poppet subassembly O-ring, a bridge Teflon guide sleeve, and a retaining ring. Roll the O-ring off of the poppet assembly face. You will then remove the Teflon guide sleeve from the bridge. Then replace the new Teflon guide sleeve into the bridge until it snaps into place. Then replace your new O-ring onto the poppet subassembly by simply rolling it into the groove. It's always recommended that you use some type of lubricant on the O-ring when you replace it. That would help it seal in place on the poppet. Replace the poppet subassembly. Replace your spring. Replace the bridge with the flat surface facing down. Set your retaining ring on top of the bridge. By pushing the bridge down with a standard socket, you can snap your retaining ring in place with a standard screwdriver. Once the retaining ring is in place, your Canva Lock adapter is ready to go. It's that easy.